Well, welcome. Look at this. We've got a new chapter of exciting topics in computer security management models uh, to discuss. And so what we're going to do in this particular chapter is we're going to dig into the uh, areas that are associated with how do you build an overarching framework or how do you build an overarching model uh, and then use that model throughout your entire system to implement security management. Now, what this chapter is a bit more technical than you've seen in previous chapters. We're going to spend a good bit of time on access control, and that access control can get a little bit down in the details. And then we're also going to talk about data classification and how that works. And we're going to talk about frameworks and ISO 27000 and NIST models uh, towards the uh, end of this particular chapter. So it's a great chapter. Um, but uh, we are going to get a little technical as we're going in. So let's look at the lesson objectives. So we're going to talk about these uh, security blueprints, frameworks, management models, and U.S. government sanctioned models as part of uh, this particular chapter. We're going to get into access control and talk about uh, uh, why that is uh, critical and some components of access control. Um, we're then going to look at several different models uh, that are out there, uh, and, and we'll start with some of the more historical ones and then move forward. But it, give, it should give you some sense of uh, what you've got to do as you're uh, uh, building these security architecture models. And again, I'll warn you, some of this is going to get a bit technical, especially for an MBA program. It's okay. Don't freak out. Uh, you, you're, you're going to do fine. Just like, uh, you know, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Gar Galaxy, grab that towel, you're going to be okay. You're, we're we're going to get through this together. All right, um, let's get in now and start talking uh, uh, a bit about what a framework is and why a framework is important. So, uh, the idea behind this is create a blueprint that can be used across multiple security uh, 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 organizations and to use this blueprint to make sure that you cover everything. You, d you haven't forgotten something, but you've got all of your components in there. And that's really the big idea. The big idea is rather than everybody doing their own thing, um, why not get together as a consortium, if you will, and think through um, uh, what a blueprint would look like for a successful security program and then implement that blueprint uh, in multiple organizations. So that's really the underarching idea behind what a framework is and uh, what we're going to be covering during this particular uh, chapter. So uh, again, th this is the idea behind it. Uh, you, you build that blueprint and then you use that as your shell to uh, uh, go ahead and implement your particular uh, program within uh, uh, a model. Uh, Again, there are several models that are out there, several blueprints that are out there, and we're going to cover those a little bit later on as we're looking at uh, the, uh, this particular chapter and looking at uh, how do we do uh, security management and what models support security management. All right. Well, that concludes this kind of introductory uh, video to blueprints, frameworks, and security models, and during the next video, we're going to dig into access controls and start to look at uh, how access controls work.